Good day, this is Jane and Weekday News. I'm Lafayne Wigan. Here now are the top stories. The body found in a shallow grave in Escher St. Mary yesterday has been positively identified as that of missing student engineer Anthony Hudson. A post-mortem is expected to be done today. The Director of Public Prosecutions, Paula Llewellyn, ruled that the three suspects be charged with murder following an investigation into the disappearance of the 25-year-old student engineer on January 25. The men were remanded when they appeared before the Port Maria Resident Magistrates Court on Friday. They are to return to court on April 3. Jamaican workers employed to China Harbor Engineering Company check on the north-south leg of Highway 2000 in St. Anne remain off the job. More than 150 workers halted their work on Monday to protest against what they say is the unfair treatment being meted out to them by Czech officials regarding their salaries. Acting Assistant Island Supervisor of the NWU, Kurt Fletcher, says he is still awaiting a response from Czech on the issues raised. The workers are upset about discrepancies with pay rates as well as the failure of the company to provide them with salary slips. The International Monetary Fund IMF resident representative in Jamaica, Bert Van Selm, says despite a front-loaded program, Jamaica has seen some economic growth over its first year. Speaking at a Financial Services Commission seminar this morning, Mr. Van Selm said Jamaica's economic reform program is off to a very strong start. The country last week successfully completed its third review of the program. Mr. Van Selm highlighted that despite a difficult year in terms of microeconomic adjustments and the reforms under the program, so far it has been a very good look for Jamaica. He also pointed to last December's passing of tax reform laws in Parliament and yesterday's passage in the lower house of a new fiscal rule which is expected to institutionalize the country's fiscal policies. In international news, a further 122 objects potentially from the missing Malaysian plane have been identified by satellite. The images taken on March 23 showed objects up to 75 feet in length. All aircraft taking part in today's search have left the area without identifying debris from the plane. Flight MH370 from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing disappeared on March 8 with 239 people on board. According to Malaysian authorities, it was not possible to tell whether the potential objects were from the missing aircraft, but called them another new lead that will help direct the search operation. The images were supplied by French-based Airbus Defence and Space and were given to the Malaysian Remote Sensing Agency yesterday. The latest images are the fourth known collection of satellite pictures showing possible debris in the southern Indian Ocean. No pieces have yet been recovered in the search area, which has now been split into an east and west section. Today marks the second day of the 2014 Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championships at the National Stadium with six finals following preliminary round competition on day one. The first final of the championships is the Boys Class 2 Long Jump. There will be two other boys finals and three girls finals. The remaining boys finals are the Class 1 Long Jump scheduled for 5.55 p.m. and the 2,000-meter steeplechase open, the final event of the day. The first girls final of the championship will be the Class 1 Discus. The Class 1 Shot Put and the 2,000-meter steeplechase are the other girls finals scheduled for today. Action today began this morning at 8.30 with three preliminary round events along with the boys 100-meter decathlon open. And those were the headlines for this hour. You can watch our live stream at jamaicanewsnetwork.com. I'm Lafayne Wigan, and this is JNN News Worth Watching.